30 minutes into the U.S. trading day on this Wednesday, March 13th. Here are the top stories we're following. The TikTok on TikTok. U.S. lawmakers preparing to vote on a measure that would force Chinese company ByteDance to sell TikTok or face a ban in the U.S. We'll bring you the latest. Hovering near all-time highs in the stock market with the bulk of earnings behind us in the Fed meeting ahead of us. Where to next? We'll discuss. And grocery aisle M&A. Scott Moses of Solomon Partners joins to talk through the proposed kroger Albertsons merger and Walmart's growing dominance in grocery. I'm Katie Greifeld in New York. Welcome to Bloomberg Markets. You take a look at markets this morning and near all-time highs, but a little bit lower today. If you take a look at the S&P 500, slightly in the red here, down by about two-tenths of a percent. Of course, still well above 5,100, but you take a look at the NASDAQ 100. Loss is getting a little more serious, down about eight-tenths of a percent. Of course, that follows a big up day yesterday, so make of that what you will. And you can see, of course, volatility rising a little bit. The VIX still below 4 14, but inching higher and higher. But let's get to what's happening this hour, and that is the how that vote gets underway. That is Bloomberg's Jackie Davalos in Washington. Thank you. Let's broaden out now and take a look at these markets because joining us now, I'm pleased to say we have Mark Spellman. He is Alpine Saxon Woods CEO sitting on set with me. Mark, great to have you in person here. Thank you. Good morning. I want to start with the first line in your notes, and that is okay. that tech stocks are currently still in a melt up. What does a melt up mean to you? Uh, take a is Mark Spellman. Please stay with us. I will note uh, that the vote has started in the House. It is being kind of questioned, if you will, by a number of these companies, and that's why we're seeing or a number of investors. That's why you're seeing stocks like five below trading lower in sympathy. Inflation is everywhere. Bloomberg's Bailey Lipschultz. Thank you so much. Now coming up, Amazon and Eli Lilly team up to bring weight loss drugs directly to consumers. Details next. Well, some big news out today. Drug maker Eli Lilly teaming up with Amazon to sell. As always, appreciate your time. That is Bloomberg's Madison Muller. Now let's keep the conversation going now with Mark Spellman, who remains with us. And before we went to break, of course, we were talking a bit about Google, sort of an underloved AI play. You take a look at uh, its valuation, definitely trading cheap to some of its peers. But along that theme, what other names have been sort of overlooked when it comes to just this AI euphoria that we've been witnessing? Sure, there's a couple of... First, that can help sort of more directly when it comes to their search business. Then you have the second derivative plays. What mm -hmm. about the picks and shovels? I mean, how are you thinking thinking about yeah. chips right now, about the likes right. of NVIDIA, is that just too hot to think about? Because clearly you're doing your due diligence, you're finding these second and third derivative <laughs> plays, but what is the catalyst for the broader investing community to sort of wake up to that narrative? Jim Bellman of Alpine Saxon Woods, thank you. Now still ahead, we're gonna take a look at the companies that are making the most social. All right, it's time now for Social Climbers, a look at the stocks making waves on social media this morning. And first up, we have Volkswagen expecting orders in Europe to pick up speed as it updates popular models. Now, the German carmaker CFO spoke to Bloomberg TV earlier on his outlook. Meanwhile, the company facing a lot of headwinds, including softening demand for EVs and growing competition from cheaper Chinese models. Next up, we have Allbirds. It's gaining traction on social media. The wool footwear company issuing a weaker than expected outlook for revenue. And analysts saying there is limited visibility into improving sales and the recent departure of its CEO isn't exactly helping confidence all that much. And finally, we have Petco. It's losing its top dog. The pet health and wellness company announcing its CEO will step down. A member of the board will serve as interim CEO until a permanent CEO is found. Also worth noting that the company beat fourth quarter earnings estimates. That's certainly helping shares out this morning. And of course, you can follow all the latest company buzz on TREN Go on your Bloomberg terminal. You take a look at the broader markets right now. It's pretty quiet out there, quiet to down. You take a look, of course, at due to stop the Kroger Albertsons is deal is set for trial. Well, the FTC has set a trial date in August for the proposed $25 billion merger of supermarket giants Kroger and Albertson. I spoke with Spartan Nash CEO Tony Sarsom on the state of grocers on Monday morning. And that, of course, was my conversation with Spartan Nash CEO Tony Sarsom on Monday. And we have a great conversation coming up, but we do want to bring you some breaking news right now 
on that TikTok vote, and that is that the House, it has enough votes putting there, of course, on the breaking news that the House has the votes to pass that TikTok divestment bill. Of course, the vote is still ongoing, and we're going to continue following that one. But let's pivot back to the grocery store, and specifically grocery M&A and the proposed merger between Kroger's and Albertsons. And I'm pleased to say that we're joined now by Scott Moses. He is partner at Solomon Partners. He's the head of the grocery, pharmacy, and restaurants investment banking group. And of course, he's also the head of the proposed deal between Kroger and Albertsons. So, Scott, we talk about that deal. I mean, initially proposed back in 2022, it's been a long path to here we are now. How confident are you that this deal will actually close? That's a headline as we continue to follow that TikTok vote, this crossing the terminal right now, that the U.S. House passes the bill that would force TikTok sale or face ban, of course, uh, that divesture from their parent company, ByteDance. We're going to continue to follow that one. Of course, it goes to the Senate now, and we'll see what happens there. But, Scott, I do want to talk about, of course, the heft of Walmart and the likes of Amazon when it comes to grocery. But before we get there, I do want to talk about some of the pushback to this deal. I mean, in addition to the FTC, you also had the United Food and Commercial Workers International Union saying last May that they opposed this merger, that it poses a, quote, serious threat to members' livelihoods. How do you think about those responses? What would this potential merger mean for salaries, et cetera, when it comes to the people that actually work at these stores? conversation and appreciate you rolling with the breaking news. That is Scott Moses of Solomon Partners. Let's get a check on the broader markets right now. We're going to do that with Bloomberg's Abigail Doolittle. Well, relative to big tech, Katie, it's not so positive. You lower income shopper, uh, that there's more deliberation, that they're less certain. Yeah, quite a white up, wipe out we're seeing today in Dollar Tree. Bloomberg's Abigail Doolittle. Thank you so much. Now, coming up, investment opportunities in India. We'll have highlights of our interview with her. It's time now for Wall Street Week. And earlier, Bloomberg's David Weston sat down with Henry McVeigh, KKR, head of global macro, balance sheet, and risk, and asked him about his recent trip to India and what improvements he's seen since his last visit to the country over a decade ago. And that was KKR's Henry McVeigh sitting down with Wall Street Week host David Weston. This is Bloomberg. All right, we do want to revisit some breaking news over the past hour, and that is the U.S. House joined TikTok. Now coming up, T. and Klein, Edge and Node CEO.